Hi everyone, Rachel Lipschick here to talk about the book that I read, The Inevitable, Understanding the 12 Technological Forces That Will Shape Our Future, written in 2016 by Kevin Kelly. Um, This book essentially is a guide to understanding the technological trends that are gaining momentum today and also will be present in the future. Um, Kevin Kelly takes each chapter and dives into one of the 12 technological forces that he has created. Um, These 12 trends are becoming, cognifying, flowing, screening, accessing, sharing, filtering, remixing, interacting, tracking, questioning, and then finally beginning. He also presents this with a significantly enthusiastic, optimistic, and idealistic view. To fully understand Kelly's thinking, it is important to investigate more into what each of these technological forces mean. So if you are interested in any of this, I highly recommend reading it. I'm not a big tech person myself, so I didn't really know how this was going to go, but I actually thought it was really interesting, and I will definitely tune into the future um, to see um, if any of these things have really happened. Um, so an important takeaway I got right from the introduction that kind of set the mood and stuck with me throughout the whole book was on page five when Kelly says, quote, my intent in this book is to uncover the roots of digital change so that we can embrace them, end quote. Um, with that, um, just a little um, kind of background knowledge on author Kevin Kelly. Um, according to his website, he is a senior maverick at Wired Magazine. What he means by this is he is a co-founder of Wired, um, which started in 1993 and served as its executive editor for its first seven years. The Inevitable, the book I read, um, is a New York Times and Wall Street Journal bestseller. He is also the author of eight other books that have similar topics related to technology, culture, tools, and just kind of the world in general. Um, It makes sense that this book has such a positive outlook um, on what technology will become and what it has been in the past. Um, I did all my research on him um, previously to reading the book, so I kind of knew that there was going to be this positive um, outcome to everything that he said. Um, And with this, um, his his enthusiasm about the future is definitely contagious. Um, with these idealistic views that he presents in the book. And it kind of made me excited and think more about um, what can come in the future, but also because of his enthusiasm about all these topics, he also chooses to admit the discussions of downsides that will likely come with the changes that he describes. Um, Honestly, I don't see him putting any negative spin on any of these ideas, but I think it would have been interesting and sparked some conversation if he did. Um, But overall, I think that his message was well received. Um, what he wanted the book to represent, definitely, um, it represents for sure. Um, and it is interesting to think about what advancements have already come out since the book four years ago. There isn't much that has changed or that has become of it, but I definitely see some things that were present in 2016 and are now in 2020. Um, just since Kelly is such a techie, he knows everything. Um, that's going on at all times. He eats, sleeps, breathes technology pretty much and has his whole life. Um, And it'll be interesting to see what he was right and wrong about um, in the future. Um, I believe that his ideas are all possible. I'm not sure if I agree that they're all inevitable, but I agree that it is probably um, most of his forces will happen. Um, So overall, great book. Um, Highly recommend reading it. And thank you for listening.